Bernardo Silva didn't celebrate Portugal's opening goal in the final 16. Was it out of respect for Switzerland? Was he unhappy about Coach Santos playing Ramos over Ronaldo? Or was he low-key a genius football player once again? Here's the reason why Portugal's number 10 didn't celebrate. Portugal's thrashing of Switzerland is still fresh in all our memories. They're probably fresher in Jan Zomer's memory, but that's not the point. With seven goals, three of them coming from a 21-year-old who started the game instead of Cristiano Ronaldo, it's safe to say that there was a lot going on at the Lusail Stadium. That's why one of the most extraordinary actions of the game went under the radar. Sure, the opening goal was a sight to behold, but this is more about the celebration, which was almost equally important. As Gonzalo Ramos sent a missile in the form of a shot into the back of the net, the whole Portugal squad, including the subs, erupted with joy and united just outside the pitch around the corner flag. And yes, Cristiano Ronaldo was there too, we've been over this. CR7 was there alright, but it was Bernardo Silva who was missing from the photos taken at this exact moment of pure and beautiful demonstration of team spirit. He was a good distance away from his teammates and actually inside the pitch. The number 10 of the red and green was keeping his distance not because he was following some sort of social distancing guidelines, but because he was the only thing that kept the Swiss from scoring. In fact, this was just about Bernardo being 2-3 steps ahead of everyone else on the pitch once again as he often is. Man City's star man was with all his teammates initially, but he quickly realized that their celebration had gone out of control and everyone in the squad except goalkeeper Diogo Costa was out of play. At that moment, as rules suggested, Swiss players could have restarted the game and attacked Costa's goal in a 10v1 situation. Because if all 10 players of a team except the goalkeeper are not on the pitch, the opposition team is allowed to kick off before the other team finishes its antics. Bernardo was the first and only player to read the situation and move swiftly, defending against the set 10v1 just by being himself, a genius of a player. That man has a feel for the game and a vision on par with the best of the best, even when the game is not being played. One more reason to understand why Pep Guardiola was on the brink of a serious depression when his playmaker came close to leaving the citizens to join Barca. He is irreplaceable in many ways for us, he's so important. He can play in four or five positions and it's not just on the pitch, it's off it too. In the locker room, I want him here so much. Regardless of what comes next for them, Fernando Santos, versatile genius and friends have met expectations in Qatar 2022. And we are almost certain that Guardiola is counting the days to have his playmaker back. Had you spotted Bernardo's clever move in the heat of the moment? What are some of the other high IQ plays you remember? Make sure to let us know. For another viral story coming from the same match with Cristiano Ronaldo in the leading role, check out this video and learn why he was benched that night. See you next time.